I had so many requests to do this eyeshadow tutorial for you. Dozens of you asked me to please show you how I do this particular eyeshadow look. This is so simple and so easy. I think you're going to absolutely love it. So before I give too much more of the video away, we better get into it. Hello, my friends. I'm so happy that you're here with me today. Now, this is the eye look that I have gotten so many requests about. It's a really kind of muted teal eye look, but it's really kind of that pop of color. And I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see it. It's got such a pretty sheen to it. Now, you don't have to wear the sheen. I do want to tell you that if you want to go completely matte, just choose like a really bright either cream or white or pink for your eyelid to do this with with a matte because it's that bright color that's really going to make your eyes pop. Before we get started, I am wearing a shirt in a different color that I've shown here before. So I'm just gonna pop up on screen right here at full length so that you can see that. I really love this shirt, super comfortable. I love the bell sleeve on it. I love the deep V neckline on it and the buttons and the tie are so cute. So it's one of my favorites. And then there are those hammered circle drop earrings, which I absolutely love. And then as well, we have this gorgeous chain and I think this has so much interest in it because it has the two parts to it it has the silver but it does have a hammered link to it as well I will list all the other makeup that I'm wearing definitely the lipstick the fingernail polish the jewelry the shirt all of it will be listed and linked below and speaking of linking things for you I do have a numbering system where all you will have to do is look at this number right here in this corner this number will coincide with whatever product that you're interested in looking today whatever I happen to be talking at the moment, that's the number that that product has been assigned. So all you have to do is jot down that number, open up the description box, go down there, look at the number, and the product will be right next to it with the link should you choose to shop my links. I do appreciate that because I do get a small commission and it does help support my family, which we're so grateful for, and it does help keep this channel going. So I do appreciate that. So enough chitter chatter. Let's get into this tutorial. I'm gonna have this eye done. This eye will be the one that we're working on and we're talking about today. Hope you enjoy it and please give it a thumbs up. Let's get right into it right now. So we're gonna start with a transition color. I'm using the Glow Getter palette from ColourPop. And I actually took the kind of a pinky mauve color right here and then the little bit of a peachy muted tone right here. And I mixed those two together just really slightly. Now I want you to start off with a very small amount Amount of powder on that brush and I want you to tap it off. I don't want you to have very much powder on there at all. Now I'm going to move you in super close so you can see this eye really, really closely. All right, hopefully you can see that eye pretty darn close. So I'm going to start with such a tiny amount of powder on my brush and I'm going to start out here at the tail and I'm just going to run it uh, in kind of circular motions and then I'm just going to be pushing it towards the middle of the eye or towards the inner eye. So I'm putting, going back and forth into that palette. And yes, I will list the mirror that I'm using as well. And I'm just doing little circular buffing motions really lightly. And then I'm pushing it over into the inner eye. Now, if you have very hooded eyes, you're going to need to make sure that you're not using too much of this color. You're gonna have to really kind of condense what you're doing. So when we get to the point to where we're doing the outer V, you might want to just use a color that you can use outer V transition together. Because sometimes when you have very hooded eyes, it might not work to do a transition. So we are just building this up to where it looks bright up here on this part. And we are continuing to push it back and forth. No windshield wiper motions. If you've been with me for very long, you know that's a big no-no for me. And that's because, you know, our skin moves. And when we're younger, it's okay to do windshield wiper. But this way, if you're doing it when you're my age, you might get a skip or two. So you really do want to just be patient and just do light little brush strokes and you know work with it as much as you need to. Now you can see what I've done. I've pushed that quite a bit towards the tail, but I'm even going to push it a little bit more right out there at the very tail. Okay, 
So that's looking really good. Now I'm going to take, by the way, sorry about that. This is a Refer 01 brush and my favorite blending brush for smaller eyes. Then I'm going to take my next brush, which is the BK Beauty 205 angled shader brush and the high tide palette. And I'm going to go down in here and mix these two colors. This is like a medium teal color. And then this is the really deepened teal color. This can get away from you quickly. So please go very light as you're dipping into the palette and then really you know tap that off really well whoops wrong side and we're going to just go right down here and we're going to place it towards the eyelash line that's where we're going to start and then we're going to push it towards the crease and this is what i'm talking about if you have hooded eyes you are not going to want to maybe do two colors here maybe stick with one color here maybe it's a, me a medium color um, instead of going into the deep at all you would go ahead and just do use just that teal color right there um, and that way you wouldn't get too dark too quickly okay so now i am just very very lightly pushing up towards that transition color i'm going to turn my brush over so this it was this way when i started now i'm going to turn it towards the tail of the brow and i'm just going to lightly buff into the crease and then out towards the tail of the brow very very light handed very very light touch if you get too heavy handed with your touch you're really going to overdo the shadow and as you can see this is so saturated and because of my coloring being so light it can get out of hand so you can use any color here you don't have to use that teal color you can use a, um, a black color if you feel like black a brown color a taupe color any color you choose burgundy purple whatever and it will make a beautiful look if you just follow the fact that you are blending and buffing and pushing instead of trying so hard right out the gate to put down shadow you're just really blending and i really didn't have a lot but you can see how saturated how quickly that got and so you really want to be careful with that now one of the things that i do need to do is i need to go down just into that dark one and then i need to take it tap it off and I need to take it and I need to go right down into the crease and the reason is is because that crease is going to look like it's lighter and I don't want my crease too now if you have hooded eyes you're not probably not going to have a problem with that but with my eyes I have to deepen that up a little bit so that it looks more natural and it doesn't look like I've got dark here and then super light in the crease and then a little bit dark again so I'm just buffing now I'm going to go back to my original brush and I'm going to buff across the top to blend the two together. And that is very easy peasy. All right, back to the original palette, which is the So Fly palette. And I'm going to take the color that is in the middle that looks a lot like a silver. This is so pretty because it has a gold and silver shift to it. And I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but I'm just using my finger. Now, you know that if you've been with me any amount of time, spray your finger for more longevity. I forgot to bring my spray over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with it and then just touch your eyelid with that shadow and just build it up and touch and you're not bringing it down where the corner shadow was yet don't bring it down there and don't you know don't go too high with it stay right on the lid below the crease or right to the crease uh, right up to the crease now you can do this with a brush i like mine done with my finger because it does give a little bit of extra payoff one of the other things that i do is i will take a paddle brush now i'm going to take a paddle brush and i'm going to go right down into that color again and i'm going to load up one side of it this is a small paddle brush that has a very rounded end so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to instead of making this go into the inner corner i am going to take this right up to the corner and i'm going to build it up right there on top of that corner instead of going around a lot of people do the light or all the way around i've done that for years but i just learned this trick instead of doing that it just it seems to make the the eye a little more eye-catching without you just looking at something that is in that corner that looks like a little disco ball right there in that corner so you can take your brush and just you know blend it across the shadow at that point i want you to grab your bk beauty brush or whatever angle brush you have and i want you to very lightly just start blending 
and the easiest way to not get too much shadow to go towards the really bright color is to blend this way so blend this way instead of that way over top of your eyelid color or your eyelid color could dull or disappear and you can see that since we met it already it really just almost blends itself and i love that about this eyeshadow technique now i'm going to take this urban decay 24 7 pencil in deep end and i am going to just barely build up a lot of shadow right there at the outer corner of my eye and then i'm going to take a uh, sigma e30 pencil brush favorite pencil brush of all time and i'm going to take that pencil brush and i like this because it's so precise and i can flick it up into the corner of my eye and give it a little bit of depth and dimension right there and then i can also smudge it towards the middle of my eye the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take any sort of a felt tip liner if you can't work with a felt tip liner get yourself a pencil liner that's fine too whatever you can work with now i personally like the line on top of my lash line many of you like it under in that waterline there do you do what's easy for you what you feel like makes your eye look bigger anything like that but i wouldn't skip the liner i would really uh stress that you need some sort of liner on there to define the shape of your eye okay so i'm just going to lay the pen sideways and i'm going to go right down into the inner corner as far as i can when my hand starts to shake too much i will lift it and go back in and just lightly dot as i go along and you can tell right there on that outer part, it got a little bit bumpy. That's okay, we're good. But that inner part right there, I love to go down in there as much as I possibly can. It just makes things so much more clean looking. I normally go off camera to do my mascara, but if you can hang with me, I can hang with you and we will do this thing. Okay, I'm using the Maybelline Sky High. This is the very black one, I don't remember exactly. hard to talk and do lashes for me at the same time because I get so intent on what I'm doing. Don't forget to try and go into the inner corner and catch as many of those little eyelash hairs as you can. I also really like to go on the bottom of my lash line. The beautiful thing about this brush, when I first got this out just now, it, it came on like it was gonna be really clumpy, but I could work with it and I could move that around because the brush wasn't a natural bristle. So it's a silicone brush and I can just continue to work with it and pull those lashes apart. I could go get an eyelash comb too if I wanted to, but uh, you get the idea. All right, I'm gonna get super, super close so you can see. This is the finished look. This is one of my favorite looks for eyeshadow. I have been doing this for years with every color under the rainbow. Three eyeshadows is all you need. And I'll tell you why I used the pink or the orange. And I would choose one or the other or a mixture of the two. I did that because you will be shocked at how bright your eyes look. If you start out with a brown, you're gonna look a little bit dull. If you start out with gray, it's gonna look really dull. So you can wear gray and you can wear brown, no, no problem whatsoever. But start out with that little bit of a brighter color just at the beginning to give that transition brightness and it's going to lift your eye. It's going to be so much prettier anytime you do any shadow at all. I hope you did enjoy the video today. Thank you so much for being with me and being a part of my channel. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up another eyeshadow tutorial right here so that you can go watch some more of my techniques and I would love for you to go watch it. There's lots of tips and tricks in there. Thanks so much for being with me. Come back around and we will be together in my next video. Love you much. Bye my friends. <music>